And this is the densest find of vertebrates in California uh, since the La Brea Tar Pits. Todd Green, professor and chair of the Department of Geological and Environmental Sciences at Chico State, and Russell Shapiro, professor of geology also at Chico State, know just how profound of a discovery this is. I looked at it and said, well, that's a horse, that's a rhinoceros, that's a camel, that's a tortoise, you know, that's an elephant. And that was the first day. This was an area that the only reported fossil was some kind of a horse tooth. And now that's just exploded into all these different kinds of, uh, of animals that are showing up and all different kinds of vertebrates that we didn't think hung out together. They estimate the fossils are between 5 to 10 million years old. What's exciting to me is we're seeing a real mix of critters that would have loved being in a forest and critters that would have loved being in grasslands. And we're actually seeing that ecosystem changing, preserved in this layer. It's changing the way we, we view about the evolution of this area. And people locally should feel pretty lucky, special, privileged to, to be around that. Perhaps even more importantly though, as Shapiro explained, these findings allow us to dream. At least for me at night, it's causing me to, yeah, to have like dreams where you're like in a bush watching as these giant gonfathiers, these elephant things, but they have two sets of tusks, tops and bottoms, you know, marching through the bushes and tapers, you know, are running underneath. I mean, and if you're saying, wow, listen to this, the newly discovered fossils can now be seen at Chico State University at the Gateway Science Museum, Madison. Yeah, and we did a little digging ourselves. Listen to this a few weeks ago, scientists say they found a fossil that might be one billion years old. <laughs>